Sometimes does this happen to you on a weekly basis? Daily. I got an old extension cord here. I need to put an end on this one so I can use it someday. But you're done using a cord or a piece of rope or even twine and you go to roll it up. Now you might use the old elbow trick, right? And you're rolling this thing up. This is a pretty short cord so it won't take more than a minute tangled down there and you got the thing like this and you roll it up and you're messing with it and you might try to wrap it up neatly wrap the cord around it in a nice fashion do you know that the next time you go to use this Go to unpull it, and it just uh, turns into a tangled up mess, and you got to spend a bunch of time untangling it before you can even use it. This is a hundred feet of 550 paracord. It looks like the worst tangled up mess you ever saw in your life. But I've actually rolled it on purpose this way and I thought I'd show you this trick. Here's another <coughs> extension cord. Same thing, looks like an awful mess. But when you look at it closer, it's rolled up on purpose this way. And Let me just pull this out of here. Show you guys. Hold on, I'll be right back. I'll grab the camera. Hopefully, it won't be too shaky. Not a single tangle. this up here where you can see my face again. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to do this. I like to take the ends of a rope or a cord, doesn't matter, take them like this and then follow it down. Follow me so far? This is really simple. And once you learn it, you're going to be like, oh, that's cool. Okay? Now I got the middle of this cord. Fold it over. See that? Okay? Now I have a loop that's locked. See it? Now take this, poke it through the hole. Take this. Poke it through the hole, through the hole, through the hole. These loops can be big or small, okay? Keep going, keep going, keep going. See what it's turning out to look like. And when you get down to the very end, just take the ends and pass them through one time. Now I can fold this up, hang it on a nail in my garage, and it'll always be ready when I want to use it. I just pull the ends back out of that first loop. Okay. Not a single tangle, not a twist, 
and it's ready to go. It'll work with any length of rope. Here's even a shoelace that I've done it to. Even a vacuum cleaner hook cord. And it'll never be tangled when you go to use this vacuum cleaner again. So there you have it. How to wrap up a cord or a rope so it'll never ever tangle on you. I wish it would work with Christmas lights. Yes, dear. Anything you say, dear. I love you. Please don't hit me again. Silly wabbit. <laughs> I'm too sexy for my hat, too sexy for my hat, what you think about that? I'm too sexy for the wabbit, sexy for the wabbit, the silly widow wabbit. I'm too sexy for your party, too sexy for your party, no way I'm disco dancing. I'm too sexy for my gun, too sexy for my gun. Uh-oh. Uh...